K-I-L-R Taylor Games Gamers, simmers, and pilots, I am the Killer Gamer, and welcome to the tour around the world featuring Microsoft Flight Simulator from 2020. I gotta tell you, one little annoying thing that's going on here is I keep setting the time for what I want. It's not on live time, so I'm setting it where I want. Uh, and it keeps changing it to something else, and that is <laughs> kind of annoying me. I don't know why it's doing that. So we'll change that as soon as we uh, get in to the uh, aircraft. But we are here at Clow International, as you can see, and we're going to go ahead and talk about where we are going. So here is the Flight Simulator 2 map, which I've been using uh, just for reference since uh, the World Tour series started with the Commodore 64, and we're just following the same flight plan. We're right here at Clow International, and if you've been watching those other simulators, then you'll know that our next uh, airport that we're going to is Lansing Municipal. Now what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to fly from Clow and head over here to Lewis University and then we'll pick up the Joliet uh, Vor and make our way to Lansing. Although we got some electronic equipment on board so probably don't need to do any fancy uh, Vor tuning or anything on, on this particular one. And if you'd like to see a modern day map here is Navigraph here so you can see we're going from Clow we're going south here I'm just using the intersection since we can't use the um, uh, airports as waypoints but this will take us right over to Lansing a little gonna be a little bit at an angle but yeah that's what we got there and we can also take a look at the airport information so we know what to expect when we get there and here is the Lansing Airport so we could be uh, arriving uh, east to west or possibly north south now what's interesting is going back to Flight Simulator 2 uh, this had the runways actually cross each other like this um, and it turns out uh, that as as the simulators uh, went up uh, this was actually a grass runway so this little taxiway that they have here I believe the grass runway was right here it would make sense it's halfway through and then they later on they added this airport so just interesting from a historical perspective on how the uh, airport looked on the older simulators and then how um, it developed uh, in the later ones. Done, done some adjustments to the time, which is, this is pretty much the time that I wanted to do it. So I'm trying to match the time of day uh, close to what I was doing with the other simulators. So that way, uh, when we're flying at nighttime and, and the other simulators, we're doing the same thing here as well. So you will be able to um, 
see night flights um, as well as daytime flights. So we're going to go ahead and get everything started here. some lights on here something I haven't done too much of oh okay so we don't have complete uh, digital uh, stuff going on here so I'll go ahead and look up that Four. Only got one OBS there. Joliet was one one two point three. You know, I've been looking for the option to turn off these tool tips, and I have not found it yet. tuned in there we want it to say from and we were looking at it's roughly um, 080 uh, radio so right about there we might have some uh, distance measuring here on this one. Possibly. We'll have to see when we get up in the air. I don't see anything at the moment. This is interesting. We've got a VFR. Set transponder to off. Okay, well, I don't think we want to do that. Oh, no, oops. <laughs> Maybe turn it on. Change data page displayed. Oh, what does this do? Flight time. Count up. Count down. Okay. Interesting. All right, so... We're going to need to tune in to Chicago Approach 119.3 so we can get clearance. Turns out it's one one three five. Whoops, that was not the right one. Chicago approach Diamond Kilo India Lima Romeo IFR to Kilo India Golf Quebec ready to copy. Diamond Kilo India Lima Romeo is cleared to Kilo India Golf Quebec Airport as filed. Climb and maintain 4,000 feet. Departure frequency is 119 decimal 35 squawk 0243. Clearance void 30 minutes from now. Diamond Kilo India Lima Romeo cleared to Kilo India Golf Quebec Airport as filed. Climb and maintain 4,000 feet. Departure is 119 or decimal 35 squawk 0243. Clearance void 30 minutes from now. Diamond India Lima Romeo readback is correct. 
So now we need to tune in the traffic, which is 122.90. I'll also get departure on here too. One one nine point three five. Oh, I already got that set up, okay. Charlie 5 traffic Diamond Kilo India Lima Romeo is taxiing to runway 18. Perfect. That is the runway that I wanted to take. So we're checking out uh, another aircraft. This is a really thin taxiway here. One of the things I've noticed, it tends to have taxi lights that are in the middle of the way. <laughs> I like how the grass looks. You got the different uh, colors and textures there. Charlie 5 traffic Diamond Kilo India Lima Romeo taking off runway 18 south departure. You seem to be a little sluggish from flying. Or we're in tra taxiing, you know, trying to get it to to move.
Chicago departure Diamond Kilo India Lima Romeo is climbing through 900 feet for 4,000 feet. Diamond Kilo India Lima Romeo, Chicago departure continue as planned. Altimeter 30 decimal 18. Diamond India Lima Romeo, you are 28 miles west. Maintain present heading and altitude. Expect vectors visual runway 27 approach. Maintain present heading and altitude. Expect vectors visual runway 27 approach Diamond India Lima Romeo. I wondered if this had autopilot or not. It doesn't look like it. Now, Lewis University is right over there uh, to the left. Right there. And eventually we will uh, be getting to Lewis University. It's going to be a while. But uh, you'll be able to see that with the early simulator. So uh, Flight Simulator 2, 3, 4, Commodore 64, and Amiga. Sorry, not 4. Uh, but the other ones, you can. Because they're not able to go up into the areas of uh, Michigan and Minnesota, Wisconsin. Because there's no coverage. Uh, but Flight Simulator 4 on up does have coverage. So those continue northward. But eventually they will come back down. And will catch up in the areas where uh, Flight Simulator 2 and the others have gone. could open up that door <laughs> or the window you, know, you can't click on any of that stuff there Looks like the localizer is alive and it's pretty close. Just keep on this uh, heading here. Fortunately, I don't think we're going to see Joliet uh, from here. But it is one airport that we'll be coming to, so. for some elevator trim. It might be there somewhere. I've got it mapped to my controller, so... 
we shall see. just amazing to be able to see to see all of this and I thought it was neat with uh, X-Plane 11 with ortho photos <laughs> still looks good but my goodness it's fantastic here We are at 4,000 feet. We'll bring the throttle down a bit. to adjust what I think is trim. <laughs> I'm adjusting it, but I don't see anything moving here. So, who knows? And this is... Okay, looks like this is giving us mileage, I think. Yeah, 17.9 miles. About 10 minutes to go. got a choke. Ah, here's the pitch. Pitch trim, neutral, take off. Take off, eh? Yeah, it's moving it.
It's not Autogen. These are buildings that are built from as best they can from data from being maps. Can't do everything though. But what it does do is pretty amazing technology. One of these days, uh, they are going to be able to do it. It's going to be quite amazing. close here. Eleven miles to go. Kind of setting up my views here. I have to set them for each aircraft. So Lansing is pretty much close to the border of Illinois and Indiana. I think I see the airports right up there. Chicago approach Diamond Kilo India Lima Romeo 4,100 feet. Diamond Kilo India Lima Romeo Chicago approach continue as planned. Altimeter tree zero decimal one seven. Eight miles.
putting our luggage back there. <laughs> doesn't look like those freeways uh, have rendered out at all. Some do. Some you get roads and little bridges and stuff. That doesn't look like that really rendered. kind of close to the airport. Are you going to give us some instructions or what? Do we just cancel IFR? Lake Michigan, right over there. Two point nine miles. flying right over the airport. Okay, well... Seems like ATC is not working very well. We're going to go ahead and cancel IFR. Chicago approach Diamond India Lima Romeo. Cancel IFR at this time. Diamond India Lima Romeo IFR flight plan is canceled. Radar service terminated. Squawk 1200. Two, 
Let's use runway 36. Apparently that doesn't work. <laughs> the runway's just behind us. Why does it seem like this is not Oh the throttle control is at zero. Interesting. Okay. Kilo India Golf, Quebec traffic, Diamond Kilo India Lima Romeo is on final runway tree six to land. There it is. Well, I see a car down there. There's a few. Okay. Some of them appear to work. Got a beacon up there. There's a helicopter pad, right? No, I'm sorry, it's a compass. I think it's like a compass. Right in this area, right there. We'll have to see if it shows up here. hit the houses down there. Help if I had put the uh, flaps down to start off with. Traffic Diamond Kilo India Lima Romeo is clear of the runway. I think it's a little bit choppy because I have the trees and the grass uh, set to high uh, resolution.
remember if that compass is right here. No, I don't see it. Is it runway two zero? Oh, sorry. Wrong airport. <laughs> not sure if there's supposed to be more buildings over there or not. like a really long taxiway <laughs> to get to the parking area. There's like an air museum uh, right over here in the corner. We'll just park over there in that corner, I think. Yeah, we're going to the museum. You didn't know that, did you? It's always a surprise here on Killer TV. <laughs> Never know what we're going to be doing here. Hmm. I'm beginning to think it doesn't have the correct buildings. Got those buildings, but yeah, I think it's yeah, it's definitely not on the other side of the street. There, it's like right here in the corner. Um, well, darn, I guess it didn't get everything. I've got information about it in the X-Plane 11 uh, video because I do a documentary at the end of uh, each flight of the place that we fly to. Go ahead and shut her down here.
And here we are at Lansing Municipal. Hope you enjoyed the flight. If so, hey, click that like button um, and sh leave some comments and share the video on uh, social media because it helps out. It helps me out. helps the channel out. helps the series out. Uh, lets people know that, hey, it's out there. Um, and then when they get here, uh, they'll also find that I did these same flights on different uh, flight simulators. And there, you never know, there could be a lot of people out there interested in seeing the old flight simulators doing these same types of flights. And not just vanilla, but with add-ons and expansions and custom content that you can still get uh, on the internet for those old uh, simulators. So, very important. Share the video. Let's give it Let's give it some attention, a little bit of love. And speaking of love, if you're new here, click that subscribe button and that notification bell. So that way you get notified of future flight simulation content, uh, new episodes such, uh, such as the World Tour. Don't hit me, buddy. <laughs> Don't hit me. All right. Don't hit me. Uh, as well as the other flight sim series that are on this channel. So uh, got stuff coming out throughout the week. And the notification thing will send you an email, let you know what it is that's uploaded and when it was uploaded. I also do some live streaming on Twitch. Do that throughout the week. So head on over there. Or give me a follow. And uh, hey, look forward to meeting with you and, and uh, you being a part of the show. I'll, uh, at times, the episodes that I'm recording, uh, I'll live stream. So it gives you a chance to interact with me. Be a part of the show, um, ask questions, um, and you get a little bit of influence of, of you know what happens on that particular episode a little bit, and you get to see it weeks and months ahead of time. <laughs> Keeping an eye on that guy. Then over on Instagram, I have pictures and photos. Bye. I guess he was just making sure we were okay. I got on Instagram pictures and photos of projects that I'm working on behind the scenes. On Twitter, you, that is my official communication channel for the station with you folks. Uh, killer news and announcements and retweets of things that I think you might find interesting. Snapchat, eh, once in a while I'll just do something fun with that. And so if you have an account, uh, you're more welcome to add me there. And then for those of you who believe in the channel and would uh, like to help support and help it grow uh, there is patreon i appreciate anything that you're willing to give there are different tier levels there and you get bonuses and rewards as a result as a result so please check that out anyways thanks so much for watching i appreciate it and i will see you on the next episode of our exciting journey have a killer awesome day